to this uh, RuPaul's Drag Race thing. So, um, Thursday was when they had the premiere. It was at, um, oh my God, it begins with a C, and it's fucking, my eye is just like acting the fool right now. But anyway, so we went to, I think it was the Conrad. That's what it was. We went to the Conrad, bitch. So we went to the Conrad. I told you it was going to come to me eventually. <laughs> so we went to the Conrad. And um, we checked in. I got my badge. I should have brought it out so that way I could show it to y'all. Oh, speaking of which, shout out to um, what's Caswell. This is his um, hoodie. Daddy Department is his clothing line. You know, um, the gay rapper slash DJ on West Hollywood. Uh, Caswell, this is basically his clothing line. So shout out to him. That's why I'm wearing it. Um, so yeah, so basically, um, okay, so the whole RuPaul's Drag Race situation, so we got there, we set up, um, there was a lot of big wigs there, them.us was there, shout out to them, I did not know that they, I was like, um, cause it's very hipster, and I know how they do a lot of stories about people of color, and there was people of color up in that, in that whole, you know, that works on that site, so shout out to y'all, um, I believe Us Weekly was there, we were sandwiched in between, um, uh, who was we next to? Oh, we was next to... Damn, what the hell is the next... See, like, I should have just wrote that. I have notes, but I didn't write that down. <laughs> so we had... Um, we were sitting with a lot of people. So one of the videographers from um, Associated Press, that's what was next to me on my right. So the videographer, you know, we, I started chatting up with him because the one thing I always love about the entertainment industry is that when you work with people behind the scenes, a lot of the people that work within the facility, everybody's cool. Like, you can talk to the reporters, you can talk to the photographers, everybody's very in engaged with each other. Santiago Felipe, Santiago Felipe was there, what we're now photographer very good looking. He put on some muscle chow. So he was there. We had a chat a little bit. Also, um, you know, there was a lot of different photographers and stuff that was there. Um, there was a lot of, so basically on the left, there was like at least five photographers and on the right, it was at least a good six, seven um, of the press that was there. The mainstream press. The creme de la creme. You wasn't seeing the shade room and the Hollywood talk and all these, or neighborhood talk and all these other blogs. No shade to y'all because I do live for the, the black tea that we get, but they weren't being invited to this drag race because you know that's okay. Well, why does this kept A lot of the black media doesn't really, um, in my opinion, celebrate the gay stuff. So, more of the white media stuff was doing that. So, okay, so the queens came out, we took the pictures, they looked great. You know, this was their first, I guess, step and repeat. That was cute and all. Then Snooki and JWoww showed up, and I didn't even know. The funny thing was, because they had an itinerary of, you know, who was actually going to be showing up on the red carpet. And my friend who was there, they were like, do you want to um, do you want to have the itinerary or whatever, this, that, and the third? He was like, no, because, you know, he was just going to take the pictures or whatever. Then finally, after like the third time they asked, I was like, you know what, let me just get this paper. So I didn't even know who was going to be there on the step and repeat. So I looked y'all on that second page and I saw that the cast of <laughs> The Real Friends of WeHo was actually going to be there. And I was like, Chow, Todrick is going to be here and we're going to take this picture. So it was like, he said, so the mother was like, you're not going, um, what you going to do, like hide? I said, first of all, bitch, I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn. Do you really think that I, moi, run from hoes in this industry? Hell fucking no. Look, one thing people need to learn <clears throat> is that when you're in this industry and stuff, you're always going to run into people that you talk about. I learned that from Wendy Williams. Shout out to her. Make she get her, her life and everything together. But for the most part, you have to worry about that. You know what? These are things that you're going to be dealing with, that these are people you're going to be encountering. And it's like, stand by your shit. So... Snooki and JY were on there. I didn't know who the other guy was with the big muscles. They, um, one of my friends wrote his name on Instagram um, in the comments. But I was like, I had no idea who that was. I thought Johnny or somebody was going to be there. Is, is Snooki still with him? I don't know. I don't really watch Jersey Shore anymore. I haven't watched Jersey Shore in like six, seven years. So I don't know where they're at in life. I know JY is not married anymore. To, um, Tom, I think was his name. But I did. She was on the red carpet with her daughter. Her daughter was... Her daughter was cute. She had like the little ballroom purple gown on. And shout out to the people that actually tagged themselves in the photo that did her hair and makeup and, and the wardrobe. Because I didn't know who they were. All I did was I tagged Snooki and JY in it. But her the their glam squad tagged themselves in my photos. So shout out to y'all. Also, 
So when Tyler finally got on, you know, online, but basically on the red carpet, because I think it was, he was the, I believe the first one, or I don't remember, there was somebody else that was there. First of all, everybody from that other show was not there. One of them being the person that talks shit about the only, the actual show he's on. So we'll get into that in a moment. But um, for the most part, the, the the red carpet was cute or whatever. Um, the entire cast was there. Who else was there from Drag Race? Aquaria showed up. But by that time, she showed up late and I had left the carpet already. So once um, we were done with that, then the other, um, what was it? The cast of Men of West Hollywood, the name of that damn show. Look, it's, why am I, I'm having a hard time remembering the name of that show. Probably because it ain't going to be on TV for long. Quiet as it's kept. So, um, after that, basically, it was like the cast came out. Tadra got on the red carpet. He looked like he did not want to be there. He looked like he had the one and only attitude. But he posed. And then he had also, he had some people there with him, two white people. One of them happened to be um, some guy by the name of Chris Pizzicalis, who I hear was a, is a backup dancer of his, but also his assistant. And he was there video, I guess, recording video footage for something I guess Todrick is doing. Maybe he's doing like a, his own little documentary or something for YouTube. So they were there filming video. And I don't think from what I was looking at, because all the queens and stuff, there, there's one of my pictures, you know, and you see like with that, he literally was looking dead at me when the photo was taken. And shout out to Todrick, I will say this. I know somebody went and posted on social media because you know, he did drop a new album called Jim. Uh, so it was like, stop trying to make Todrick happen, bitch. I, mean, I don't make the news, I just report it. So basically what I was doing was, I was on social media promoting, if somebody's putting out music, whether I like them or not, I'm gonna promote their shit. I'm gonna basically bring light to whatever it is that they're doing. So um, yeah, he was there, he was there, he took his pictures, he moved on, and then the other cast members came out. So the other one who was there was also, um, what is his name? Um, James Vaughn was there in them little tight pants, and I can see his bulge. And you know, basically, you know who he is. He's married to Jonathan Bennett, and also um, Brad Goreski was there because I got a, I took his picture too. And the funny thing was, Brad did talk to the press because he was right next to me. Like after he took his pictures, whatever, he went directly to the Associated Press because, like I told you, the Associated Press was literally on my right. He was right next to me. Sidebar, I don't know if I should say this, but the videographer, this is funny, because we actually started early. The step and repeat was supposed to be at 7 o'clock. They started it at around 6.30, 6.40. And I think it's because some of the queens were ready and they know how it is when it comes to these step and repeats. It's like they got to get a lot of photos from all the ph photographers that were there. And then there's the reporters that are going to ask like a shit ton of questions. And a lot of times when that happens, that kind of takes longer than expected. And so we had to also, we had a screening that was that night as well. So we had to focus on and worry about that. So um, after that, so basically you got, you got the pictures moved on and then um, what else happened? Oh, so then they, then they did the group cast photo with some of the Drag Race girls. All of them was not there, but we're going to get into the drama behind that show in a second. But everybody seemed to be in this little bubble at MTV on this show being like whatever, but I don't think they read the tea leaves because a lot of people is not happy with this show. But I will say this, shout out to Todrick only because, you know, he did like my photo that I tagged him in. Um, that is Miss... Mistress, 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 Isabella. <laughs> I love her. She is ca she is carrying this season. You know, it was only the first episode, but she was looking good every day. These are some of the exclusive photos that I took. Oh my God. And I don't know if you got it, but I did post. I should probably send this to you, but that was my fault because I did put it in the group chat. I don't know if you got it, but I did have a group photo of the cast of the show. I don't know if you necessarily have that, but, um, and now as I, you know, try to scroll through all the shit on my page, I know this is like, well, look, we live chill. So, um, yeah, so overall, it was a good night. Um, after that, so we, so we scurried to the side. Basically what we did was after we got all the photos and everything, we just like, I went to the bathroom and then I went to go, there was a screening because I didn't even know that in this building they actually had, um, a movie theater.
But I have to say, oh yeah, Ross Matthews was there with his husband. Thank you for the, the photos, because I'm clearly forgetting who was there. So yes, Ross Matthews was there. Carson was not there. I would have loved to have seen T.S. Madison, by the way, because, you know, she is a new addition to the show. She's, um... She's a judge alongside Ross and Carson. So she's going to be a rotating judge this season. So that's great. So anyway, so that was, you know, that was all that happened, basically. And then we ran into a couple of other Drag Race girls, too. Dahlia Sin was there. And, um, oh, my God, who was... Um, yeah, Dah Dahlia Sin was there out of drag. There was a couple of Drag Race girls there that were out of drag. So we went to a screening because I had no idea in the same building they actually had the Regal Movie Theater. So we wound up going upstairs. And the good thing with the press pass, you can go wherever you want. So I got to go upstairs. We got to see a screening. We could have had popcorn, but I was like, mm. but then I'm regretting it because I should have probably heard the popcorn. Yeah, this is the group photo <coughs> that we ended up taking. And if y'all notice, Dorian Renard is not there. So... <laughs> This is the cast that was there, but Miss Dorian was not. And then, you know, what the the crazy part is that Dorian's talking a lot of shit about the show. We're gonna get into that in a second. So basically to wrap this up, after that, we stopped for a second. My friend need to put um get a couple of his photos and stuff and um work out some stuff with the photos so he can give the girls at night. After that, we went to the screening. We went and watched it. We only got to see the first half. So that was the one where Ariana Grande, and we got to see her as Vivacious, dressed up in the Vivacious Ornatia Ensemble. And then also after that, we got to see the... Uh, well, basically, it you, we saw the first hour. We didn't get to see the second half. So when the queens were basically coming face to face the first time, and they had to put together the choreography for the, for the opening number, that's where it, it cut off. So we had to watch the rest, you know, with the rest of the world. So for the most part, I already knew how Ariana Grande was going to make her entrance. I already saw all that other stuff because I was there at the at the um, at the screening. The screening was after that. I was going to go to the after party. I kind of regret not going now after I found out what was at the after party. Like I could have gotten more photos with the queens and also the pink card that you see in the promos was there, so I could have gotten a picture with that. But for the most part, I think what had happened was I was up since five o'clock in the morning. I have another job that I have where I do regular paid, you know, a regular job, and then I do entertainment stuff as well. So I'm doing two jobs, and not two jobs. I said two jobs. <laughs> I do two jobs. So I was up since 5 a.m. I had not eaten anything since one o'clock. I even got an alert on my watch that said that my heart rate was at 180 BPM. So there were periods where it was like, because I remember um, my when I was talking to my, my roommate, he was saying, were you holding a breath? I said, I think I was. <laughs> So my, I think my body, my watch was telling me that I was like dying or something. But other than that, it was like I was lightheaded, I was starving, and when I'm hungry, I get hangry. So that was like, what was it? That had to have been at least a good seven, eight hours that I had not put any food in my system. So I had to pretty much like, I had to go. So I didn't get to go to the after party. But next time, you know what, I will learn. I mean, it's been a while since I've done like the, the red carpet stuff. So I have to know like, I gotta pace myself. I gotta carry snacks or whatever. The only thing I did have, I had an edible before I went. But clearly that's not enough if um I'm gonna be doing like these red carpet stuff. So I do miss it. And the funny thing was like, I had already said, like I said at the beginning of the year, I said 2023, I'm gonna be doing a lot more red carpet stuff. I'm gonna be doing a lot more stuff within the entertainment industry. And look, already first week into January and look where, where I'm at. I put something out there in the universe, I manifested it and here we are. So now 